All right, we're gonna be battling Wyatt. They have an Amoongus, a Cornerstone Mask Ogre. Oh, oh, jeez. A Fluttermane, a Blood Moon or Saluna. That's not good. Uh, a Farigraph and a Urshifu. Okay. So what I kind of want to do here is I want to bring Registeel. So this video is going to be different mainly because I have hard press on Registeel and I want to use hard press successfully. I mean, it's one of those moves where it is very interesting. It does more damage the more health the opponent has. And I don't know. I, I want to use it. I want to use it. I want to see if it's actually viable. It's probably not viable in like most situations, but so we swapped out Iron Head for this. All right, Dark Type of Shifu. Oh, that's definitely not good. Wait, no, 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 no. This is fun. This is fun. This is fun. This is fun. I can imprison. And I can go for follow me. So I want to redirect and I want to shut down the potential trick room. Because he's going to cancel my trick room out with his own. Alright, he goes for U-turn. We kind of survive. I'm okay with that. I don't think I have any attacking move. But also, I want to see what he switches in. If I can shut down the trick room, then I have a free turn. Blood Moon Best. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. I'm just gonna go for a yeah I'm gonna go for a helping hand here and we're gonna go for a horn leech into blood moon or saluna I mean I guess we're not going for the the, the trick room yet he would drew for uh, I'm okay with that And he brought in his own. Okay. That is interesting. He's probably going to tear a grass, maybe. Tear a normal? Okay, that's good. At least he doesn't resist. But that, that blood moon is going to... That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. <laughs> it's it's going to hurt. It's definitely going to hurt. Alright, we've got a good amount of health back. Uh, I don't think we live it. Oh, he goes for Hyper Voice. Okay, we might live it. Yeah, we do. Okay, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Um, hmm. I can just go for Follow Me. Yeah, I can go for Follow Me. And I can go for Horn Leech. I think he's at a point right now. He goes for Ivy Kudu. All right, I'm okay with that. But he's at a point right now that I think, I think the Horn Leech should be enough. There we go. Okay, now this is where it gets kind of tricky. I bring in Reggie Steel. Um, I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying. The four graph does not. Oh, he brings out the issue. Okay. All right. So this this can be bad. This can be bad. Um. 
Yeah, this is this can be bad. I think. How am I looking on defense? I mean, honestly, a body press should. A body press should be good. It should be good enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go for body press, and I'm gonna go for spiky shield. No. I could go for spiky shield. Yeah, I'm gonna go for spiky shield. Oh, we live that. That's crazy. That's crazy. He goes for the Ivy Pooja. Oh, yes. And then he hurts himself. This is perfect. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, get finessed. I don't even care if the Ferrigarap comes out because it's just like... At this point, I, I don't I don't care because let me go for hard press. I, let me let me not act like I don't care. I do care. I'm gonna go for. Do do I need this? I can go for hard press here, and I'm gonna go for follow me. I really, I'm afraid that, I'm, I'm afraid that Registeel is going to go down. I'm so afraid that Registeel is going to go down. He goes for Woodhammer? Okay. It just depends on who's faster. Okay, am I faster than the fur graph? Please, please. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, that's crazy. I get my successful hard press. He goes for twin beam. And we survive? Oh, God. I'm about to beat the brakes off of you. Oh no. Dude, I'm about to beat the brakes off of you. And, and, and this is gonna be with Registeel. I, I love Registeel. I don't use it enough. I mean, I, I say that every time when I use Pokemon. But honestly, Registeel is one of my favorite Pokemon in the anime and then in the movie with Lucario with the other Regis. Registeel just looks so cool. I remember the, the fight between Ashes, Torkoal versus the Registeel, and just how tanky it was with dealing with fire type attacks. Honestly, it's brutal. We go for Crunch. That's almost going to be enough. He survives because of a Focus Ash. That's nice. Hard Press is going to take it out, though. That's such a great animation. <laughs> Honestly, being able to, I mean, it wouldn't even matter because we saw that we could tank two twin beams. I thought he was going to go for hyper voice, but we tanked two twin beams into the Registeel and managed to still one shot that. I mean, honestly, he set himself up for failure. If he went for any other move instead of wood hammer, where you have this recoil damage that you take. He would have still had Sturdy on the Cornerstone Mass Overpump. And I would have been kind of screwed. Maybe. Maybe I would have been screwed. I don't know. I mean, actually, yeah, I would have been screwed. Because then I would have to bring in the Tyranitar into an Ogre Pwn that has Wood Hammer. Maybe it has Horn Leech. Ivy Kujal. Yeah, I wasn't going to want to stay in for that. But yeah, that, that Wood Hammer, that recoil damage, that took him out of that uh sturdy protection and put it right into range where you know a uh, hard press was gonna take him out all right we're gonna be battling kazashini which honestly that's a cool name they have a kilowattrel i think a 
furret or a centret? No, I think it's a furret. A Gashadon, a Elfox Superior, and a Salamence. Okay. This is an interesting team. It's going to be a shame when I destroy it. I'm going to lead off Tyranitar and Ndidi. We're going to bring Registeel in the back. I kind of want to bring Ogrepone. Ogrepone is a pretty good counter to everything. Everything we don't take out with an Ivy Kujul, we just Horn Leech. And that just gets us a win. We Ivy Kujul the Salamence. Ivy Kujul the Delphox. Ivy Kujul the Kilowattro. Maybe even Ivy Kujul the Superior. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. That that's very ambitious. That's very ambitious of you. Like you are outmatched, outmatched, outclassed, outgunned. Huh? Oh, okay. You have a psychic C too. Well, that's a. That's, that's really nice. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty ruthless. I'm pretty ruthless. I'm going for damage right off the bat. <laughs> I'm just going straight for damage. We're, we're going for the helping hand. Rock slide. Rock Terra. We're going for maximum damage here. First turn. So if he doesn't Terra or switch out. Something's gonna get hurt. A lot of things are gonna get hurt really bad. And this is, I think, Max Attack Tyranitar 2. Alright, there we go. There we go. Tear into something that isn't weak to this. You, you double down. Oh my god. The cojones on this guy. Either you wide guard or you you got protect. There's no way you, you really you got wide guard or you got protect. There's no way you're just standing in front of me doing this and then you think I'm not gonna I'm not gonna KO you. You don't got protect. Okay, well, you don't got wide guard, you don't got to protect. You you trick me. Buddy, I, I'm I'm pure aggression. Oh, I got Toxic Orb. Okay. Okay. And you stole the Toxic Orb. What was the logic in this? He DC'd it. What was your logic? <laughs> what was the logic? You saw what I had on my team. You knew that this was not going to be a great matchup. You saw that we both had Psychic Seed. You saw that I used Psychic Seed. And, and look, why would you have Magician on Delphox in the first place? Like, I get that Magician is a great ability, but that was not going to work for you in that case. Like, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around the logic of doing what he did. You, 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 you tear into fire into a Tyranitar and an Indeedee. And you foul play the Indeedee like it means something. You foul play the Indeedee like it has an attack stat. I, I don't have nothing into that Indeedee. And, and, and the, I, I thought he was on to something with the Toxic Orb trick. But then the Magician Toxic Orb from the Delphox, I you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I was actually willing to go out on a limb and say it was like some 400 IQ play that I just couldn't understand. I thought maybe he's self-poisoning the Delphox for some power amp or something. I I don't know. I don't use Delphox. So I just couldn't wrap my head around him taking back the Toxic Orb he gave me and putting it onto his Delphox. All right, we're going to be battling Edwin. This is going to be a difficult team to fight mainly because he has 
the Trick Room team. And he has Pokemon that can operate outside of Trick Room. So, this is not a good matchup for me. I think I'm going to lead off in DD Ambor. We're going to bring Tyranitar in the back and Registeel as well. Yeah, so we're going to be fighting some Weather Wars here. He has a Sun Team, a Sun Trick Room Team, and I have a Sand Team. So ideally, I cannot let him keep the sun up. And also, I got to find some way. I mean, we could fight it out in Trick Room. I just don't like my chances. Yeah, I, I don't like my chances. Mm -mm. All right. Um, I'm gonna go for. Okay. All right. I'm I'm gonna go for in prison. And I'm gonna tear a fire. And I'm gonna go for a, a flare blitz here. I'm putting my balls on the table. And I'm just gonna let him hang, you know? I'm going for the flare blitz. I'm I'm this is supposed to be a Reggie Steel video, but I mean who who cares? You know? Who cares? So if you're wondering, Vera, why are you terrifying? Or why are you going terrifying? Well, because my misguided friend, expanding force is a thing. And I don't want to get hit with a full power expanding force. Which I think I'm going to get hit with. Super effective. It's going to hurt. So I shut down Trick Room. I shut down... Pretty much Helping Hand. Follow me as well. And we take out the Hatterene. Perfect. Perfect. I knew putting my balls on the table would work. I 100% knew it would work. Oh, that's... That's brutal. That's brutal, buddy. That's rough. That's rough. You, you really invested a lot into that. Into whatever attack you were going to hit me with. He probably thought, oh, this guy's going to go for Trick Room. No, 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 I'm a dick, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to duck no smoke. I fight everybody, I, I, I'm i going one shots, okay? I don't fight fair, well I do fight mostly fair, but I, I don't hide behind no, no cheap tactics. I say this as I literally use follow me in the match before in order to clutch up a win, but you know, we don't talk about those matches. We only talk about the ones where I get one shots, but I got follow me. He doesn't have follow me. He probably doesn't have helping hand. Dazzling Gleam ain't doing anything. Psycho Cut's not gonna hurt me. So now Imbor can just flare blitz his entire team <laughs> with impunity. Look at this walking nuke. And he DCs. Oh my Jesus. You got outplayed. That, that's all there is to it. You didn't expect an imprison. You just didn't calculate the imprison and you thought I was going to click trick room. I mean, I, I get it. I, I understand. Maybe you shouldn't underestimate me though. Like, that's why I carry in prison on Ndidi, because I, I know that Ndidi is such a meta pick for these Trick Room teams and these Psychic Terrain teams. And every Ndidi usually carries the same two to three moves. So if you can literally negate Trick Room, Follow Me, or Helping Hand from Ndidi, then you've already neutered it, pretty much. You, you've made the Ndidi absolutely useless. My Ndidi has no offensive capabilities whatsoever. We're not talking about Dazzling Land. We're not talking about Expanding Force. My Ndidi is left out there in the wind if you take away any other attacking Pokemon. But what it is mainly for is to shut down other Ndidis. All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it, but it's like Bleach, where you have Aizen and you have the head captain Yamamoto. 
eyes and crates in a wrong car just to seal Yamamoto's flames from his Zanpakuto and, and to just remove the Zanpakuto from play. That is what I did with Ndidi. I made this Ndidi specifically to shut down other Ndidis. Like, if I can't do it, I mean, like, if you can do it, I'm not going to let you do it. Because I'm going to be the only one that can do it. Pretty much. All right, we're going to be battling Abel. They have an Ampipom in Iron Hands, a Goldingo, a Gastrodon, a... Maridon and a Serilich. Okay. I don't like most of this, but um, yeah, I, I don't like most of this, to be honest. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring Mudsdale and Indeed, and I'm going to bring Registeel in the back. Don't ask me why, because. Honestly, I don't think I can bring Reggie still. I mean, I guess I can against Ampipom, but I mean, Tyranitar. Tyranitar would be a much better pick to deal with the Gastrodon. Well, not Tyranitar, or Ogrepone. Hmm. We can deal with the Gold Dingo, maybe. I, okay, I got very little time. I, I got to do this. I gotta do this. I'm sorry. Reggie Steel is just gonna have to sit this one out. Like, I, I just don't see a pathway where Reggie Steel does significant damage or puts in a significant amount of work. Ampy Palm Gashadon? Okay, no. I'm gonna go for Trick Room. I can go for a swap into Tyranitar. He goes for Fake Out, but he's completely forgetting the fact that we have Psychic Terrain. And he goes for Icy Wind, which is perfect because it slows me down even further. One of my biggest concerns was probably going to be Speed, but now that's that's just out the window. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for... Follow me, and I'm probably going to go for Stealth Rock. I'm going for Stealth Rock mainly so I can I can start doing more damage to his Pokemon as they switch in and switch out. But I probably should have just went for Helping Hand, Rock Slide, because now he can go for probably Muddy Water, which I think that's exactly what he's going to go for. But that's okay. I just want to redirect as much damage away from my uh, Pokemon. He went for Earth Power. That's wild. Going for Earth Power when you can easily go for Muddy Water with a Water Terra. Oh, <laughs> he's going for the Juggler. He said, I don't like you. I don't like anything about you. He said, sir, you got to go. I'm gonna go for helping in and I'm gonna tear a rock so I can kind of not get hit with a quad super effective low kick. Like I would I would prefer if you did do that. Cause that's gonna hurt. I don't run. Like I I I don't run. Like, I, like, if it's not a favorable matchup, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll duck the smoke. Yeah, but in this situation, no. 
Gashadon protected. That's a very smart move. I just need to flinch the Ampy Palm or kill it. I mean, we got Sandstorm damage. Yep. All right, that's good enough. No low kicks coming out anymore. Gashadon's getting buffeted by the Sandstorm. This is good. We sh we're slowly chipping it down. And that means when the Rock Slide does hit, it might KO. Never mind. We have a Gold Ingo. I have a more pressing concern to deal with. I'm going to go for a Helping Hand, and I'm going to go for a Crunch in the Gold Ingo. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident I can live whatever the the Gashadon throws at me. Also, worst case scenario, we we bring in the Ogre Pwn and the Ogre Pwn cleans up. I can always redirect. He doesn't have anything that I think can just KO. He yawns. You you have nothing really. You really got no options. You got no prospects. Like, I'm willing to be put to sleep, buddy. I'm willing to be put to sleep. The question is, are you willing to be rock slided? Look at that. Look at that. Just so much damage. We're going to go for Helping Hand, and we're going to go for the Rock Slide again. Honestly, I love Tyranitar. I mean, I love Aggron more as a Pokemon than I love Tyranitar. And I'm not afraid to say that. I know some people feel some way about that, but hear me out. I do not care. He Earth Powers the Ndidi. He, did he think I was going to follow me? Nah, buddy, I'm out for blood. I, I want to get the dub. Like, I want to take out every single Pokemon you have. Uh oh, okay. I mean, you can always do that. I'm fine with this. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with losing the Trick Room. I'm fine with everything else. He's actually faster than me in Trick Room, so that's the crazy part. So, really, this is not good for him, because now that I'm out of Trick Room, I am faster. And he can keep protecting all he wants, but the Sandstorm is, is still blowing around him. But yeah, I just love Tyranitar. It gives me, like, Godzilla vibes. Now, I know Toasty wanted me to make, like, a Godzilla-themed team. Which I will probably get around to doing that eventually. But also, I just love Agron. I want to see Agron and Tyranitar in a team together. And I'm willing to wait for a game where they're both in the same game again. I'm going to go for Rock Slide. But yeah, when I played Pokemon Sapphire, Agron was one of my favorite Pokemon. That thing looked like a giant metal dinosaur and I loved every second of it. Tries to go for protect. Buddy, this is your last mon. Sandstorm's raging. And I got at least two more Pokemon in the back. Like, do you do you really think Protect's gonna save you? Go home. Oh jeez. Honestly, him icy winning was the best thing he could have did. I mean, well, actually, no. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. Wait, maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know. I don't actually don't know. All I know is he was technically... Yeah, actually, it was, it was not really good that he did that. Because I was faster than him. Then the icy wind hit. And then I think I became slower than him. And then somehow he was faster than me and trick. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing mental gymnastics or mental mathematics 
and it's actually making my brain hurt. But all I know is he misplayed somewhere with that Gastrodon. And I think there was a missed opportunity to just click Muddy Water and just go for a spread stab attack and lower my accuracy and it hit me for super effective damage. There was just a really big missed opportunity there. And also if he had Yawn, he should have just went for that sooner. The Yawn into maybe the Tyranitar would have shut down a big offensive part of my team. But like I said, I still had at least two Pokemon in the back. The Stealth Rock was up, Sandstorm's up. He's taking a lot of chip damage from just those two things alone. He can't just freely switch in and out as he wants. And indeed, he's just going for helping hand. Tyranitar has Rock Terra. Rock Slides just <laughs> nuking everything on the field for a large amount of damage. It just wasn't a good match for him.